Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Today, we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. He will return this from deep in the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Play action, now Jackson. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. It's a game of five, brings up second and five at the 38-yard line. carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. On third down, Jackson. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. With it is Brown. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 26. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. You know, look at this Baltimore defense. There are 32 teams in the NFL, and they're just better than 50% of them at defending the pass number 16 in the league. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And? Too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. If those add up into big mistakes, big mistakes add up into points against you. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Once again, it's Mostert. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Murray going to try to throw on third down. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Murray from midfield. He'll get this complete to Rondell Moore. 
And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. But that last throw, Charles, puts him over 15,000 yards passing now for his career. And Brandon, they're not going to stop the game and give him the game ball here, but that's still a pretty impressive number, and he's got plenty of more good football ahead of him. Although I would say the team should give him a game ball after it's all over. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The Cardinals at three and four on the year coming into play. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to them. Ball on the 27. Here's a second and nine. Here's Murray. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Here's Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Mostert, and he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Running right on the option is Murray. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. It's now third and goal. We're scoreless after one. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Eluding the pressure right. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Oh 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. But you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Play action. It's Jackson. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now it's Jackson. Buying time to his left. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On third and ten, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. That's why having a mobile quarterback really pays dividends because that old school stand in the pocket, make your throw guy, he doesn't make that play. In addition to the mobility, how about his eyes? Just kept them downfield, locked on the target, created a big play out of it. Didn't matter the chaos around it. He still found his guy. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. On second down, Cook. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So first and 10 now from the 30. Jackson. Looking right side, and that's complete to Rockets. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Option play. Here's Cook. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. James Cook, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they are a game under 500 now following the loss a week ago. And this is a team, Charles, that just has not been able to string victories together. Yeah, they're certainly going the wrong way, aren't they? Because it looked like they had things pointing in the right direction, but now they've lost two straight. And that means this game is vital, extremely important, because if they fall two games below 500, the road back into playoff contention, awfully difficult. On play action, it's Murray. And this is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he's unable to hold so it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field and that brings up fourth. here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon and just a single punt for him in the loss last week and he can't field it cleanly it's loose I know there's one magnet in the ball 
but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow the ball finds its way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Throwing now Jackson on first down. That's for Bateman and it's intercepted. And he'll get this back to the 32 yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Brown the motion man right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Second down and six now. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, And he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Now the veteran workhorse. Here's James Conner. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals are once again back in front. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception in the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've got confidence in it. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. I like the play action there on second and short part. Now you try to convince those safeties you're going to run for it. Hit him with that play action, looks like a run, and try to go over the top. Didn't work, but I like the play call. First down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Jackson trying to hustle his unit up quickly to the line of scrimmage. 
Jackson now throwing on first down. Dancing to his left. And this one nearly picked off. Kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. And the end result of that play, you're almost not sure what you really want because when he gets outside of the pocket, you actually hold your breath because you think he's going to run for big yardage. But when he chose to pull it down and throw it, and a play was made to knock it away, that's a pretty good end result. Not one you expected when the play began. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 33. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it. It's good to make it 17-7. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how... Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. After the turnover, here's Murray. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Now a second and six. Now Murray. Flush to his right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. Zach Ertz in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cardinals would extend their lead here just before halftime. Crater on to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. 
So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert, and he'll get a couple up to the 29. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Now a third and six. To throw, it's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A run with Mostert up the middle. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. So from the 37, here's second and nine. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. Oh, what a juke into space. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Now Murray off play action. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And now off to the races down the right side. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. First down, here's the run with Cook. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 59 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Jackson on first down. 
And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Touchdown, Baltimore. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Ravens take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Tucker with the extra point. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Murray again, this is Connor. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle, the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, Guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Here is third and five. To throw is Murray. Flushed out right. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm. And nowadays, we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws, but he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Murray's throw complete here to his receiver ground. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Running the counter with Mostert. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going.
They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Murray now to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Murray going to throw. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Second and ten. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Call it a gain of three, and that'll make it third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Throwing now is Murray. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Prater's kick is good, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Cotter. Is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Well, this defense knows they're well aware that they're down two scores, and they figure this is pretty much their last chance. They know if they give up a touchdown here, that ends it. Nice job on first and goal to push them the other way, but they have to be thinking takeaway right here. Mostert. Will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. You can almost feel him thinking as he's running the football, just one more block, anything to get me to the perimeter and around the corner. Couldn't quite get there. Ends up getting spilled for a loss. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kyler Murray with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Cardinals look like they're about to put an end to their two-game losing streak as they add on to their lead. Prater for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. This one certainly has not gone according to script. You would have thought on paper that this offense would have its way here, but they certainly have got his man complete. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain of 29 yards. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. That's caught inside the 20. 
It's a big play there for Baltimore. And even 40 yards. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now Jackson on first down. This, and the ball is knocked out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline is still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 22, here's second and eight. Again, they'll run it with Moster. Across midfield. 98 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Sure, don't let him rest. Now second and 11 from the 32. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. They'll run right side with Moster. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Fourth down, Murray Matt off, Prater and on the Cards field goal goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. Raiders kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Raiders to kick off for Arizona. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Ravens. The 
it's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Well, yeah, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Tucker now for the extra point. And that will cut this lead down to 13. Makes the score Cardinals 34. Ravens 21. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And the Cardinals have got it. So that should just about put an end to this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Down to a knee, here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. And Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf, and today that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So for Arizona, they're back to 500 as they move to 4-0.